You do Boys in the Hood, Boys in the Hood is a smash. Yeah. Damn, success. Yeah. At that point, at that point, were you bit by the acting bug? Yeah, because it went to Cannes Film Festival. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, I haven't been back to Cannes Film Festival since, since Boys in the Hood. Wow. So, this is the first movie. It's not even playing in America yet, but we're going to go show it in France and we want you to come. Wow. So we go and I get there and I'm like, oh, this is a big deal. Like, Cannes is like crazy. I didn't know nothing about it, you know what I mean? So in, in parallel, where are you in your music career at this point? At the height of my solo career. Like, just dropped America's Most Wanted. I think uh, either j just dropped Killer Will or about to drop my second Damn. EP. You know, it was rolling. Damn. You know, I was working on my third, I mean, uh, working on Death Certificate. And so being there and we get there and then I'm like, damn, when we showing the movie? He's like, we're going to show it on Thursday, whatever. We there, get there on Monday. And then I start thinking, I'm like, these, these people speak French. Like, how they going to understand yeah. the movie? Yeah, what's the translation? And she, they was like, subtitles. I'm like, oh. <laughs> they are not going to understand this movie. So I'm like, this shit about to be torture, mm -hmm. right? We get there, it's Quincy Jones in the damn audience, Eddie Murphy. Like, Biggest of the big. Yeah. You, you got know. no idea. You don't know what Kansas is. You got I no idea know. how massive this is. I mean, it's is. like Gregory Hines and all these dudes is in there. like, And they gave it a standing ovation wow. after the movie was over. And wow. And so I was like, damn, if they love it here, wait till they play this in the they States. In it's the States. over. Okay, now we're talking about Cube and Hollywood. Before I go to the, the later transition of the want for more, you know, now you're talking about at the height of your music career. Mm -hmm. What's the conversation from the music side of you? You know, you got partners, you got friends, you got, you know, there, there's other people that are with you on that music side, that traveling with you, that's a part of that yeah. world. What's their reception to what's going on? It now? was with it, you know. It was, you know, playing Doughboy was kind of parallel to the music we was doing, so mm -hmm. it didn't feel like it was. It just felt like a natural progression, you know. And, and then my next movie after after Boys in the Hood was Trespass, so playing Savon, which is another street dude, mm -hmm. it, it kind of fell in, you know, into place. But then, you know, I was offered, I was offered uh, to, to, if I wanted to play the old dog and minister society. Get out of here. Um, Why did you take it? I, I felt like I was playing the same character. Okay. You know, it was like from, from, from Doughboy to Savon to old dog, I felt like I was going to be trapped in this you know, how are you LA thinking? gang How are you thinking like that, though, at that point? Like, well, I just knew about typecasting. At this point, are offers that are just coming in? They come in, in pretty, in. Okay. you know, pretty regularly. Um, but, you know, I still wanted to do stuff that was, you know, not, not you know, just a normal hood movie. Mm -hmm. um, because there was so many coming out, you know, it was like, it was like from colors to... You know, Boys in the Hood to that was the thing back then. Menace Society, the South Central it was like it was a cup of that was the the cup of tea. Yeah, that's what that's what got the volume. That's what got the eyeballs, the attention. Because at the time, the gang violence, etc. Yeah, you know, it was extremely high. It was on the news every but day. That's why I wrote Friday. Ah. I wrote Friday because me and Pooh was looking and we would look at these movies and be like, damn. Was it that bad growing up around here? Because it seemed like it's terrible, like mm -hmm. war zone. Was it, though? I mean, sometimes. But we had fun, too. Yeah. So I wanted to show that. Like, let's show how we looked at this stuff, how we approached it, mm -hmm. how we uh, coped with it, you know, and laughed at things that I guess would make most people cry.